Sometimes you must be willing to walk alone. You must be willing to step out on the edge by yourself in the darkness in order to see that thing that's on your heart manifest. What's up, y'all? Preston Smiles here from the mean streets of Petrotoli, Italy. It's going down in a beautiful, major way. Today's transmission, not everybody you start with, you will end with. You see, you must be willing to walk alone in order to see your dreams come true. Because a lot of people, a lot of people in your circle right now can't see what you can see. And even if they can, they don't want you to go there because it threatens your friendship, your relationship. I'm not saying that you need to get rid of your friends. What I am saying is that along this journey of you stepping into the fullness of what it means to be you, that some of the people you started with, you will not end with. You see, some of your friends and some of your family right now, they think, and, and here's the thing, guys, you have to understand, they love you, and they love you so much that they don't want you to do anything outside of the box that has been drawn for you and how they see you. And so they'll do anything in their power to convince you that this is the wrong move to move across country, that this is the wrong move to take that other job. It's the wrong move to quit your job and to start that business that's been on your heart. It's the wrong move for you not to go to college and do what everyone else is doing. Why? Because they love you. But sometimes you must be willing to walk alone. You must be willing to step out on the edge by yourself in the darkness in order to see that thing that's on your heart manifest. And the thing about it is, guys, is it's not that you're gonna be alone for too long because birds of a feather always flock together. And the moment you start living from your truth, the moment you start stepping in the name of love with that thing that's on your heart, all kinds of people will start flocking to it. You will become a beacon for your truth because a lot of other people Hear the same thing. Remember um, Nietzsche said, those who were seen dancing were called crazy by those who could not hear the music. So if you hear that music, if you hear it and you feel it and it's calling you forward, honor that thing and understand that along the way, you may lose some friends. You may have to distance yourself from some family members. You may have to step out alone, but not for long. Do that thing that's on your heart. And I promise you, everything will come into perfect alignment. Blessings and blessings from Petrotoli, Italy. If you are new to the tribe, new to the Love's Voice tribe, to the Love's Voice family, make sure you leave a comment so we can comment on your comment. And if you are already in the family, in the tribe, leave a comment below. Let me know what is on your heart and what you are willing to and ready to step out there for. Share this message if it inspires you in any way. I am, we are, hashtag love's voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love. Ooh, ooh. It's just because someone emails, texts, or calls you doesn't mean that you are obligated to respond to that email, text, or call when they think you should. I find that a lot of us, especially in this world right now, there's a lot of demand and there's a lot of bells and whistles and, and things going off all the time. And just because someone writes you on Facebook or Instagram or DMs you or texts you or anything of that nature doesn't mean you need to or have to respond to that ever, let alone when they think you should.